everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a stretch class, so nice deep stretches. Um, we're going to do some standing, lying, sitting, whole body stretches. If you do like these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and feel free to head over to my website and my Instagram page if you've got any suggestions or class requests. Today we're going to start in a simple seated position, so any props that you need Feel free to go on and grab them and make yourself comfortable. So as always, take a few moments to get grounded in your breath. Maybe turning your palms up towards the sky, connecting the thumb and the index finger. And taking a nice deep breath in through the nose. And exhaling it through the mouth. Letting go of the day what's to come, what's already happened, and dedicating this next period of time to you and the present moment. Maybe connect to Ujjayi breath. And take three more breaths here. Taking time to set a dedication or intention for your practice. One more breath. And then opening through the eyes, taking the opposite leg in front. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, side bend over to the right. Grounding down through the left hip, reaching long through the left fingertips. If it's available to you, you can always come down onto the right forearm, only if you can keep the left hip down. And then inhale through center. Exhale, take it over to the other side, grounding through the right hip as you reach along through the right fingers. Bringing the stretch into the side body, keeping the chest open. Inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, take the hands forward, roll over your shins. Make your way onto all fours. We'll take a couple of rounds of cat-cow. And I want you to feel every segment of the spine moving from top to bottom. Maybe even taking a couple of breaths to make it all the way through each side of the movement. And then keeping the hips above the knees, start to walk the hands forward and out towards the front corners of your mat. Sinking the chest down as much as is comfortable for you for puppy pose. Maybe the forehead comes to rest, maybe the chin or the chest. Wherever you are, ground down through the hands as you reach the hips up and back. And start to walk the hands back in. Keep the left arm slightly forward as you thread the right arm underneath for thread the needle. The right palm will face towards the sky and the left hand can either be close to the right arm or you can extend it right out in front of you, whatever is comfortable. And you can stay here or you can start to reach back with the left foot, either keeping the foot on the floor or maybe floating it to the height of the hip. Wherever you are, keep the hips even as you gently draw the right shoulder back and down.
slowly release and make your way to the other side, taking the right hand either forward or under the shoulder as you thread the left hand palm up underneath. And then staying here or extending the right leg back, maybe lifting the foot if you can keep the hips even. And then exhale, slowly release, come back up to all fours. Plant the hands slightly in front of the shoulders, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back for a downward facing dog. Keeping a deep bend in the knees to start with, send the torso back towards the thighs as you reach the hips up. Strongly engage through the shoulders so you're not just collapsing into the shoulders, the arms are active. And then maintaining this length, start to straighten through the knees only so much that you can keep the position and the length of the spine. Then bring the left foot a little bit closer to centre. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, draw the left hip back into the socket slightly so that the hips even out. Take an inhale here and then as you exhale, Hook the space between the big toe and the second toe around the back of the left ankle and gently start to draw the left heel down towards the floor more. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step the right hand, foot forward outside of the right hand and come into a high lizard pose. Keeping the back leg off the floor for this first one. Strongly engage through the left thigh to bring buoyancy into the hips. As you think about simultaneously sinking the hips down, reaching the sternum forward. And maybe rocking back and forward a little bit. And then keeping the left hand grounded, inhale, sweep the right arm up towards the thigh. Keeping that same activation in through the left leg. Twist comes from the torso, not the hips. Take one more inhale. Exhale, plant the right hand down, set the left knee down, and then come back for a wide half split so the hands are still going to be to the inside of the right foot inhale lengthen the sternum exhale maybe sink the hips back a little deeper you can always sink the hips all the way to the heel if that's available in your body Inhale, come back into your low lunge, lift the back knee. Exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise the left leg. Exhale, draw the right hip back in space to even off through the hip. Inhale, lengthen through the left leg. And then exhale, hook the back of the right heel with the toes and gently draw the right heel down towards the floor. Strongly engaging through the arms and the right hip hugs towards the midline. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it to the outside of the left hand. Keep the right leg strongly lifting as you sink the hips down. Reach the sternum forward. Maybe rocking backwards and forwards. And then keep the right hand planted, inhale, sweep the left arm up, twisting from the torso, keeping the hips relatively even.
one more inhale and then exhale plant the left hand set the right knee down and start to shift the hips back hands to the inside of the left foot inhale reach the sternum forward exhale sink the hips back toes are drawing strongly towards you Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, lift the back knee, step it back to plank and make your way all the way onto your belly. Take the hands off wide and tense the fingertips. Elbows come towards the ceiling. Strongly press through the feet, lengthen through the lower back. Inhale, peel up cobra. Exhale, dip the right shoulder to the floor and turn towards the left. Elbows keep facing up towards the ceiling and the shoulders are drawing away from the ears. So don't bunch the upper traps. Keep length between the neck and the shoulders. Inhale, come through center and then exhale, rotate it over towards the right, dropping the left shoulder. Inhale, back through centre. Exhale, lower down. Make your way back into a child's pose. Big toes come to touch, knees are wide. Arms are actively reaching forward as you sink the hips back. And then bend the elbows, bring the palms together and over the head so you're in a little shark fin sort of position. If you had a block, you could put your elbows up on the block to increase the stretch through the triceps. Reach the arms long. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, make your way into downward dog. Start to walk the right hand forward slightly and over towards the left. Draw back strongly through the right hip and feel the stretch through the right side body. You could also walk the left hand forward a little bit if that felt better in your body. Take it to a point where you feel the stretch in through the right side body and shoulder. And then make your way back to centre. Start to take the left hand forward and over to the left as you draw back through the left shoulder, keeping the hips even. And then bring it back through centre. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, open through the hips, sending the knee to the sky, the heel to the bum. Gently draw the right shoulder back down in line with the left and strongly send the left heel towards the floor, although it never has to touch. Inhale, even out the hips. Exhale, Right hand to the outside of the right, um, sorry, right foot to the outside of the right hand. Drop the back knee. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips as you lengthen the sternum forward. Exhale, sink the hips a little deeper. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. You could stay here or if you want, you can bend the left knee, reaching back for the left foot, twisting the torso open to the right. You could always grab a strap. And then slowly releasing the foot. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, this time maybe you're able to lower onto the forearms. 
only come to the forearms if you can keep the torso lengthening so you might need blocks underneath you you might need to just walk the hands forward and come up onto the fingertips you can stay with the back knee down or you can lift the back knee wherever you are try and keep that right hip actively hugging in the right knee towards the right shoulder active strengthening and lengthening of the muscles at the same time and then start to walk the hands back in underneath the shoulders drop the back knee center the right foot take an inhale here and then exhale Adha Hanumanasana inhale lengthen the spine exhale sink the hips a little bit deeper so you should feel a slightly different stretch here now that the hip and the foot are aligned you can play around with turning the toes out to the side again feeling a slightly different stretch depending if your neural tissue or your muscles are tight depend on where you feel specific stretches and then inhale bring it forward exhale step it back to downward dog inhale <laughs> Sweep the left leg up. The stray dog that we picked up today is slowly making his way towards the mat. Open the left hip up. Knee towards the sky, heel to the bum. And gently draw the left shoulder down. I apologise, there may be a few minutes of loud panting here. Inhale lengthen back out through the hips even out through the hips exhale step the left foot hand oh yes step the left foot to the outside of the left hand i got it right for once drop the back knee come up onto the fingertips shine the chest forward as you inhale and then exhale sink the hips a little bit deeper inhale reach the sternum forward exhale sink the hips my goodness doggo you smell so bad And you could stay here or you could reach back with the left hand for the right foot opening up the chest to the left And then slowly release the hands back. Take the left foot, walk it towards the center. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, take the hips back. Actively bring the left toes towards you. And once again, you can play around with turning the foot out to the side or keeping it up towards the, um, the sky, whatever feels the best in your body. And slowly start to shift it forward. Plant the hands, step it back to plank. Lower all the way down to the belly. Make a cactus position with your left hand. Bring the right hand underneath the right shoulder as if you're going into cobra. Inhale, peel the chest up. And then exhale, press through the right hand to roll the torso towards. So you're opening the torso towards the right, rolling onto the left shoulder. So you should feel an opening up through the front of the left shoulder. If this feels a little bit funky on your lower back, you can always bend the right knee up to the side. And then slowly release. Bring the right hand to a cactus position. Bring the left hand underneath the shoulder. Inhale, peel the chest up, and then exhale, start to send the body weight over to the right as you open the chest to the left, feeling a stretch in through the front of the right shoulder. Okay. 
and then slowly release. Make your way back once again to child's pose, just briefly. Take an inhale and then exhale round the spine, coming forward to a cat variation. As you inhale, keep the big toes together, drop the belly, start to send the hips back to child's pose. Exhale, round the spine, undulate yourself forward. Inhale, drop the belly, send the hips back. Just one more like that. Exhale, round it forward. And then bring the knees back to center. Make your way into downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, open through the hip. Stay here or maybe you take the right foot all the way down to the ground, lifting the right hand up and off for a wild thing. Make sure you're nice and stable and strong through that left shoulder girdle. Take one more breath. And then as you exhale, take the right hand down to the mat if it was off. Take the right knee to the right wrist. Set the right ankle near the left wrist and start to walk back for single pigeon. So your four, if you're flexible, your shin may be parallel to the front of the mat. Otherwise, it's going to be back more towards the left hip. Actively draw the right hip back and the left hip down and forward to even off the hips. Come up onto the fingertips, inhale. And then as you exhale, leading with the chest, roll the spine forward. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. Exhale, roll it forward. Inhale, roll it up. One more like that. And then you're going to sit back onto the right hip. Bring the right shin parallel to the front of the mat and bring the left knee in. So you're kind of in a 90-90 sort of position. You might have to use the right hand to prop yourself a little bit more centrally. Take an inhale here and then as you exhale, you're just going to start to crawl the hands over to the right. Take an inhale and then exhale. Start to walk the hands as far as you can over to the right, getting a little bit of a twist and a hip stretch here. And then walk it all the way back in. And then we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna come forwards. So just feeling into the different parts of the hip, feeling where it's tight for you, gently drawing down through the left hip. And then bring it back up. And then we're going to take it over to the left. So you're probably not going to get very far to the left. And that's fine. Just moving into all different ranges. And then walk it back in. Plant the hands. Take the left foot back behind you. Step it back to plank. And then take it to downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up and behind you. Exhale, bend the knee. Stay or keep on traveling. Open up into wild thing. And if you're in wild thing, start to bring yourself back. Set yourself up for single pigeon. Left knee, left wrist, left foot right wrist, walk the right foot back, actively draw the left hip back, the right foot forward, come up onto fingertips and this time we're going to do circles. So inhale, take yourself over towards the left knee and then as you exhale, sweep yourself over to the right. We'll do three in each direction. You can of course always just come to rest in resting pigeon. And then reverse your circles. And 
and then come back up. Start to shift onto the left hip. Take the left shin more parallel to the front of the mat as you walk that right knee in by the, oh, hello, dog, by the right, by the left heel. <laughs> Sorry. Inhale yourself nice and tall. And then as you exhale, you're going to start to take the hands over towards the left this is too ridiculous inhale yourself nice and tall and then exhale start to walk yourself forward over to the left as much as is comfortable for you you can stay on the fingertips or you can bring the palms down towards the floor And then start to walk yourself back into center. And then we'll start to walk the hands forwards over the front shin, gently drawing the right hip down towards the floor. And then bringing yourself in. And taking yourself over towards the right. So you won't be able to go very far to the right. But you should feel a stretch in through the right hip. As well as getting a little bit of a twist. And then bring yourself back through center. Plant the hands. Take the right leg back behind you. Step it back into downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step the foot to the outside of the hands. Stay up on the back, toes, back knee lifted. Inhale, reach the sternum. Exhale, straighten through the front leg. So you're in a wide legged straight Front leg straight, forward fold sort of thing. Pyramid, wide-legged pyramid. And then inhale yourself back to lizard. Plant the left hand. Take the right foot slightly forward and lift the hips up a little bit. Start to walk the right hand to the outside of the right foot. And maybe you stay here with the right hand planted on the outside. Or maybe you take the fingers off slightly wider, coming up onto the fingertips, reaching the sternum forward. You can always bring the back knee down here if you need to. And you can choose to stay here or start to bind the right hand behind the right hip, left hand reaches for right, reaching the sternum forward. And then you can choose to stay here or drop the back foot so that now we're in a bound side angle pose. So you might have to adjust that right foot slightly more towards the center line, keeping the shoulders open, the chest broad. And wherever you are, plant the hands and make your way back to downward facing dog. You give the feet a little bit of a pedal. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step the foot to the outside of the hands. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips. And then exhale, start to straighten through the front leg, coming into a wide-legged pyramid. Gently drawing the left hip back as you reach the sternum down. Back heel is reaching, but it won't touch the floor. And then inhale, come back into your lizard pose. Plant the hands, get buoyant in the hips, slightly lifting the hips up enough that you can get that left shoulder underneath the left knee. 
and then stay with the hands planted, knees up or down, knee up or down, or start to walk the hands off to the side, and then stay here, or maybe bind behind the back, staying here for a few breaths, reaching the sternum forward. And then choosing to stay here or rotating to the inside of that right foot and opening up into bound side angle. You'll probably have to walk the left foot slightly towards the center. Opening up through the right shoulder, lengthening through the spine. And then looking down, wherever you are, slowly release. Take it back into downward facing dog. And take a couple of breaths to pedal out through the feet. And then take the feet slightly wider than mat's distance apart. Start to walk the hands back towards the feet. And then sink down into malasana. You can always roll up a towel or the back of your mat to put underneath your heels. Bring the elbows to the insides of the knees. Sink the hips deeper as you reach the sternum forward and up. And then take the right hand down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up. And you could choose to stay here or if it's available to you, you can reach the left hand behind and the right arm in front of the right shin and grab for a bind. You might use a strap. Try and keep even weight through all four corners of both feet as opposed to rolling to the inside or outside edge. Inhale, bring it back through center. And then exhale, take the left hand down, reach the right arm up. Choosing to stay here or flipping the left hand, reaching it around the shin and reaching the right hand around the back for the bind. Take one more inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and then exhale, forward fold. Bring the feet to hips distance apart. Take the peace fingers, hook them around the big toes. Inhale to lengthen the spine. And then exhale, fold deeply, drawing the elbows off to the side. Unhook the toes. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sliding the hands up the shins. Exhale here. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Grab the right wrist with the left hand. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, side bend to the left. Keeping both of the hips facing forward, the chest opening. Grounding down strongly through the right leg. Inhale through centre, exhale take the left wrist with the right hand, bend to the right. Again checking in with the hips, lengthening through the lower back. Inhale through centre, exhale take the hands behind you, clasp the hands. Inhale broaden through the collarbone, exhale slight bend to the knees, start to bend forward. Bringing the hands up and overhead or leaving them at the lower back. Take an inhale here. Exhale, start to bend through the left leg. Take the hands over towards the left. Feeling a stretch through the right shoulder and hamstring. Ow! I thought it was... I just got bitten by a ladybug. Didn't know that was possible. 
inhale yourself through center, change the interlacing of the fingers, and then as you exhale, bend the right knee, send the hands over to the right, feeling the stretch through the left hamstring, left shoulder. Inhale through center, exhale, release. Crawl the hands forward to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot by the right thumb. Drop the back foot, heel to heel alignment. Inhale, raise up warrior one. Exhale, interlace the hands behind you. Inhale, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. From here, release the hands to the inside of the right foot. Heel toe the right foot to the right. Come onto the left toes. Inhale, send the right arm up. And this time as you exhale, turn the right toes out to a 45 degree angle. Start to drop onto the outside edge of both feet, maybe reaching the right hand back. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can always stay in lizard or just rotate the front leg out. Bring it all the way back to center. Take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, step it back to downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, step it through. Set yourself up for warrior one. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, interlace the hands the non-habitual way. Inhale, broaden through the collarbones. Exhale, humble warrior. And slowly release the hands to the inside of the foot. Coming back into your lizard pose. Inhale, sweep the right arm up, left arm up. And then 45 degrees with the left foot coming to the outside edge of both feet. Or just the front foot, reaching the left hand back. Now there's a bumblebee on my water bottle. we got all sorts of nature here today, guys. Inhale, sweep the left arm forward. Exhale, step it back, downward facing dog. Start to walk the hands towards the back of the mat. Inhale to lengthen. And then as you exhale, lift the right toes, slip the right hand underneath, palm faces up. And then lift the right left toes, slip the left hand underneath. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Gently pressing down through the toes and gently pulling the arms or the wrists away from the floor to get a gentle tractioning through the wrists. And slowly release the feet. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
take the feet a little bit wider than hips distance apart, maybe about mat's distance apart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bend generously through the knees as you come down to a little squat. Take the right, sorry, take the left hand underneath. So grab, grab the back of the left heel, taking the left shoulder underneath the left knee, and then take the right hand behind, reaching the right shoulder underneath the right knee. And then maybe grab onto the backs of the heels or grab onto the insides of the feet if that's available to you. So I'm going to turn and face you. So you're doing a, a wrap around and then maybe start to straighten the legs any amount. If you can, try and keep the feet parallel, but if that's not natural in your body, then turn the feet out slightly. Stretching through the shoulders and the hamstrings. And then starting to squat the hips down nice and low, keeping the bind with your arms, maybe you can grab onto the toes. Maybe you can sink the hips all the way down, reaching the insides of your feet, reaching the sternum forward. So now you're essentially in malasana with your arms wrapped around the back. And if an arm balance is in your practice and you wanted to take it here, you could feel free planting the hands behind you and lifting the feet. We're just going to take the hands back in front from Malasana. Take an inhale here. And then exhale slowly, or not so slowly, lower the hips down to the floor, bringing the soles of the feet together for Baddha Konasana. And you might stay with the hands behind the hips, inhaling the spine nice and tall. Or you might exhale and start to bring the hands to the feet, elbows to the insides of the shins, and lean yourself forward. Try and lean forward from the hips as opposed to just trying to get the nose to the heels. Think nose to the front of the mat to gather length through the spine. And then from here, we're going to straighten out the left leg, bring the sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Turn your torso to face your right knee. Bring the left hand to rest either on top or underneath the left leg. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. And then exhale, side bend over to the left, keeping active through the left leg. And again, rotating the chest up to the sky to get the stretch in through the side body. Gently drawing the right knee down to the floor. Inhale, bring yourself through center and then square yourself off to the left leg, inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead, and then exhale, crossing the hands so that the right hand lands on the outside, the left hand on the inside, either grabbing the foot, calf, ankle, wherever you can reach. Actively draw the left hip back into the socket as you inhale the sternum forward, and then exhale, fold a little deeper. Again, thinking crown of the head towards the foot, to keep the length. And then inhale, bring it back through center. Take the sole of the left foot to the inside of the right leg, active through the right leg. Turn to face the left knee, hand right hand is either on the shin or underneath inhale sweep the left arm up and then exhale side bend over towards the right keeping the chest facing towards the left knee maybe gently drawing the left knee down to the floor to increase the stretch
inhale, bring yourself through center. And then turn to face the right knee, slightly adjusting the hips. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, cross the left hand to the outside, right hand to the inside. Gently draw back through the right hip as you inhale, lengthen the sternum. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slowly roll yourself up. And then as you exhale, make your way onto your back. Cross the left ankle over the right knee. And then as you inhale, draw the knees in towards you. Maybe stay here, grabbing around the right shin or hamstring. Or take the hands off to capital T or a cactus position. Shift the hips slightly to the right. And then as you exhale, Twist the knees over towards the left, using the left foot as an anchor on the right knee. Gently draw the right shoulder down towards the floor and the right hip away from the shoulder. Your gaze can be at the sky or maybe over the right hand. Inhale yourself through center. Keep the same cross of the leg. And then as you exhale, this time you're going to take the feet over towards the left. Maybe reaching down with the right hand to draw that left foot closer to the right shoulder. Using the left knee this time as a bit of a buffer to gently draw the heel towards the shoulder. And then this time maybe gazing over to the left, drawing the left hip away from the shoulder. And then bring your way through center and we'll switch it over. Crossing the right ankle over the left knee, drawing the legs in, maybe just holding around the shin or dropping, taking the hips slightly to the left first and then dropping the knees over towards the right. Using the right foot as an anchor on the left knee. Grounding the left shoulder gently to the floor, left hip away from the shoulder. And gaze is where he's comfortable. Inhale yourself through center. Keep the same cross of the legs. Take the hips slightly to the right and then plant the sole of the right foot over to the left side. Gently using the left knee and left hand to nudge the foot towards the shoulder. Anchoring the right shoulder blade to the floor. Maybe turning the gaze to the right. Rotating yourself back to centre, giving yourself one final squeeze, drawing the knees in towards the chest, maybe rolling the nose up towards the knees, and then releasing for Shavasana. Palms face up towards the sky, feet turn out to the side, or any other comfortable resting position for you. Take one final deep breath in through the nose. And let it go through the mouth. Please stay here for as long as you have time for. Today, as you go forward, may you have acceptance in your thoughts, gratitude in your heart, 
and forgiveness in your words. Namaste.